creating word cloud in Tableau. Hi everyone and welcome back to Techie Anshi. In this video on my channel, we are going to create a word cloud, a simple one and also a one using the survey data. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's dive into this video. To begin with, we will be using the sample superstore data and I'll show you how you can create a word cloud simply using any column in your data source. So for this, as you can see, I'm right now importing a sample superstore data and from the products hierarchy, I'm going to pull up the subcategories onto the text shelf. If you can see, I have all the different subcategories listed over here since I added it to the text shelf on the marks card. Right now, let's pull in the sum of sales as well onto the size. You can see each of these different subcategories are sized on the basis of the sum of sales that we have over here. With this, we are able to create a simple heat map as you can see. You can also add this to the color shelf and make sure that the colors also align bases the values. Now on the marks card from automatic, if you change this to a text, you can see that it starts to form something like a word cloud. However, since we also have the sum of sales on the text, if we remove this, this is how our word cloud would start to look. So chair, phone, storage, these are your major subcategories, which got the maximum amount of sales. And you can see the color of them as well, right? I'm just changing the background so that it's easier for you to also uh, see the colors over here. Now, if you want to edit the font of this, you can always go ahead and do that in the text shelf. But however, also notice if you change the size of the font, all the subcategories become of the same size, which is something we might not want because we want them to represent the measure, which is the sum of sales as their size. So you can avoid doing that. Now, a lot of time people would also want to see what are all the products under this category or a list of products under this category, right? So you can create a simple sheet like I'm doing right now and add that sheet onto your tooltip. With that, what would happen is whenever you are hovering on any of these subcategories, you will be also be able to see the product names along with it. Now, there's also a thing that you might want to see what's the sum of sales for each of these products that we have over here or maybe sort this basis the uh, sum of sales for each one of them so what you could do here is pull in the sum of sales onto the column shelf and then sort it in the descending order this way whenever you hover on them you'll see the top ones over here in the tooltip and the others would not be shown so this is how you'll be able to create a simple looking word cloud now let's look at how you can create a word cloud from survey responses. Right now, if you look at any kinds of survey data right now, I have one of such kind and this is a free source. So don't worry about it. Now, all of this data that you see over here is a, is basically like huge statements, right? Long statements with lot of different words. Let's copy this onto another Excel sheet. And then what we are going to do is going to go into the data and just going to separate each of them using the delimiter, which is your space, right? So I'm doing a text to column operation over here and you can see each one of them is what we want to move into the next column. Now you can use a lot of different things over here. Like you could use a Python library or uh, some of the code that's already available on the GitHub to be able to create a word cloud using R or Python, right? But there would be a lot of people who do not know Python and don't want to like uh, do so much of an effort to create this word cloud. So you can simply follow this using this Excel like how I'm doing. So as you can see now in all the different columns, the words are separated into uh, the next uh, call. So let's just go ahead and save this for now. And I'm going to save this in the name of word cloud. Okay, we'll head back to our Tableau dashboard and let's add a new data source over here. This data source is going to be the Excel that we just now created. So let's go ahead and pick that up as well. Once the processing is completed, you can see that all the different columns that we have in the data 
uh, which was split by a space delimiter are now available here and there are 285 different columns. Just hold on shift and select all of the columns here, right click and then click on pivot. What this would do is it's going to create a pivot table on all of these columns with the names and the values. And these are the fields that you can simply use in order to create your word cloud. Once the extract is created, we should be able to go into our dashboard and be able to create the word cloud using the similar steps how we did in the initial part of this video. So let's wait for the extract to get created. Now you can see we have these fields over here, the pivot field name, the pivot field values and the sheet one count. These are going to be our major fields that we need in order to create this word cloud. Let's pull in the pivot field name onto the row shelf and you can see all the 285 columns we have in the data. And if you pull in the values over here, you can put a top filter over here, which can be top 100 values from the different uh, words that we were able to separate and basis the number of times or the count of times that they were appearing in the data. So this is what I'm doing. I'm taking the top 100 for now and let's go ahead and click OK. What this will do for us is it's going to show us all the values that are appearing the maximum number of times in our data source. Let's also put in the count of the sheet one and this will give us the top words that are used in our data. Okay, we can exclude some of these which we are sure that are not at all useful. So just do that as well and then sort it from the highest to the lowest in terms of recurrence, right? You can see the is the one which is used the, the most number of times, right? Now uh, you can edit this filter and if you want, you can like include more. Let's go ahead and include 250 so that there are more meaningful words rather than mostly stop words that are over here right now. So I'm just going to enhance my filter like that. Now let's pull in the measure onto the size and the pivot field values onto the label. You can see the heat map created and now let's switch to the text. This is how you can see our word cloud that's created. You can change the color using the measure and you can see the one that is darker is basically something that is occurring more times in the data source. So this is how a word cloud is created. Now you can go ahead and uh, you know, put a filter over here. The ones that are recurring for the most number of times are mostly stop words and you can exclude them by putting up a threshold on the higher limit. Um, and also like if there are other methods, maybe I'll discuss it towards the end of the video. So then you can see like more important words from the source rather than seeing all stop words. Um, yeah. The, the other thing is also like if you want to edit how your uh, text looks like on this word cloud, you can do that as well and just go ahead and apply so that they are a bit bold and you can read the text properly. Yep. Let's fill this to an entire view. And this is how our word cloud is going to look like for now. I just do not need uh, the count over here as a filter. So I'm just going to remove it off and let's just show all the 250 top words right now. As you can see, I'm also able to edit the colors of this. You can choose any of the colors from your custom palettes and you can choose that and make sure that you can apply that to your, uh, to your word cloud. So this is how my word cloud is starting to look now, right? Now on the topic of how can you remove stop words, what you could do is you could go to the data source and maybe import any pre-created stop word list and join it with this existing data source. And using that, you should be able to exclude some of these words as well. So that will also help you in a great way to exclude some of these additional noise that you have in the data. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you liked it, then please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button on my channel. That's Techie Anshi. Don't forget to like and comment your thoughts about this. And if you are able to create a good word cloud, do share that image with me as well. Again, we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.